Welcome to Terrible Tuesdays. I'm Whiskey TK, and joining me is Ensemble. Hello. And we're going to be playing Wasteland 2, um, but we're not going to be playing Wasteland 2 normally. We have made a team of heroes here before we got started. Um, we got Roxy here, who ha is really good with her hands and can fix toasters. That That is what they do. Those are all of, <laughs> that's the whole character. No quirks, nothing. We got Beef Jerky, our, uh, our handsome lad here. And then we got, he's, he's fucking strong. He punches dudes. He's power, power man. And then he a little fast because you got to get to enemies to punch them. And then he is very good at just breaking doors down. Not actually attacking people with like a blunt weapon or anything. Just busting doors down with his foot. That's what he does. <laughs> we got Pespy, <laughs> Pespy Max, <laughs> who is our healer. And a very smart, very smart lady. She can heal good. She got three in field medic, three in surgeon. And then correctly, we haven't spent all of our points. That is how we're making this a terrible Tuesday. That's why this is a terrible Tuesday, Link. Terrible Tuesdays aren't always terrible games, just terrible experiences. Yeah, just bad times for me. And then we got our fucking lad here, BD Johnson. T take him in in all his glory. <laughs> Just in case you didn't know, uh, BD stands for Big Dick. The only character who gets a biography. Why this game is hard enough as it is. <laughs> yeah, it's Terrible Tuesdays, man. <laughs> Alright, he is Sounds very like charismatic. He out on his Nier Automata playthrough. Oh yeah, I love Nier, but Nier hard mode is not a good time. Alright, <laughs> and we got Charisma maxed out. He's got some leadership. And he's got some kiss ass. All right. And that's our team. That's Those are our heroes. So uh, let's fucking get rolling here. Oh, should I turn up the difficulty too? I feel, uh, like, I feel like we probably don't need to. I feel like this is going to be a fucking shit show as it is. So I'm going to just leave it on can normal. Can you change difficulty like mid game? I, maybe. I don't. Oh, I can with a save editor, I think. Oh. Uh. Oh wait, this is was the one that I played four years ago for 27 minutes. Well, I'm glad <laughs> that I can show you all the glory of Wasteland, even though it's maybe not the way it should be played. <clears throat> all right, our fucking team. Man, it's cool that they turned Fallout New Vegas into a classic Fallout game. All right, we're not going to be listening to any of the things these guys say. Because like that's not what this is about. We're not we're not doing the story. It's what some people call a blind speedrun. A blind speedrun. That sounds awful. Uh, it was a joke that someone was doing when Kingdom Hearts 3 first came out. And he he's one of those people who doesn't care about the story. He just wants to play the game. Right. So Kingdom Hearts, a franchise heavily involved in dialogue, story, and cutscenes. He was just skipping through all of it. That's amazing. And his chat, his chat was getting so pissed at him. And he's like, no, 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 no. Like, you don't understand. It's a, it's a blind speed run. And they just <laughs> accepted that. That's pretty funny. <laughs> they just accepted that answer. I mean, that's the answer. That's a fine answer. <laughs> all right. Can I dig up this grave? <laughs> no, it's not going to let me dig up the ra grave. Wow. Uh, it's too bad. All right. Let's fucking... Does anyone? Oh, no one has perception. Oh God. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> I'm already like. I don't know what that means, but that sounds awesome. I can't find hidden items that are like buried in the uh, ground. I don't think. I don't remember if there's a highlight. Oh, oh ravioli. Uh, this is Wasteland Two, and being and, in terrible Tuesday's fashion, we <clears throat> gave our heroes some really terrible stats. Yeah, everyone's real bad. Actually, everyone's good at one thing. You ever played oh, yeah. a console port of this? I did not know there was a console port of that. This game that sounds awful. Yeah, this this looks like a very heavy point and click game. Oh yeah, which I feel does not translate to console very well. No. All right, what do we actually? Let's look at what all of our what people have. We got a stick for BD Johnson. Very good. Oh a yeah. Stick. yeah. 
You know, BD Johnson carries around oh, that big God. stick. Oh, God. They didn't give us any weapons because none of our characters have any points any in weapons. Oh, we just incredible. have sticks. Oh, my God. This is going to be the worst. All right. We need to buy some weapons. <laughs> it's okay. Beef jerky secondaries his fist. It's true. Uh, let's see here. How much money do we have? We have $50. Good. <laughs> That's a lot of money. No, it's not. We cannot afford a single weapon. I don't think we can even afford sticks with, like, nails in them. Back in my day, $50 could get me a prostitute and $49 left over. Damn. All right. All right, we're, go we're rolling with sticks, boys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fucking Jesus. <laughs> Which one of you has the shovel? You. So is this just tutorial stuff, or it's like, hey, this is how you click a thing? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, we got ten More extra bucks. Sell your medicine. Uh, if we talk to that lady, we might be able to get a shotgun from her. I think. Sell all your medicine. We're gonna need that. Uh, let's see. Deck of cards. More scrap. All right, that'll do. And we're not taking Angela with us, so this is gonna be even harder. Five five six ammo. Actually, wait. Who has? Who has the fucking luck stat? I don't think we gave anybody a luck stat. Oh no. <laughs> we decided against giving BD Johnson luck for charisma. Oh no. Because <laughs> luck depend <laughs> like changes what drops you get from like toasters and like oh, when you dig God. stuff up. Yeah, but on all of our people, Aaron, have no no skill in weapons. We're not going to be able yeah, they, to take them they out. They just have sticks. They just have sticks, and they don't have yeah. any like ability to hit with m m blunt. Just uh, just send beef jerky in there with his fists. There you go. Like beef jerky punches and Pespy heals him up, and that's all you need. We do have a toaster specialist. That is Roxy. Yeah, Roxy is our toaster specialist. So we can we can open toasters. We're just not gonna get anything good. <laughs> Best. Okay. Um. Okay, it's locked, but our boy can kick it open. Yeah, beef jerky. Beef jerky, pulling his fucking weight. <laughs> All right, we got ammo, but we need guns. This is going to go as horribly, this is going to go horribly, horribly wrong. Oh, good. We got gloves. I'm wandering around the wasteland, but all I have are sticks. It's okay. We got, we got a weapon. It's a melee weapon, which is unfortunate, but it'll Link have to do. Link asks if don't toasters have predetermined loot? They do not, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they have random loot that is based on your luck. Uh-oh. In this game. I don't know about in Wasteland 3, which has already come out. And I'll be playing tomorrow. For our new show. Alright, our stick does 7 to 12 damage. This, These gloves that we got do 3 to 5, so I guess we're sticking with the, the stick. <laughs> nice. All right. Let's go. Whoa, spoiler alert. Ah. Copy. Cool, thanks. That's fine. Out, bye. All right, we got to go. Radio Tower travel. Also, having zero luck, I think, is going to make us get overworld encounters more often. Oh. Yep, there's the first one. Oh, so this really does play kind of like uh, an original Fallout. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, actually, the first... Um, what the fuck should I name the save file? Absolute heroes. <clears throat> um, the original Wasteland was 
uh, the inspiration for Fallout. Really? Yep. Huh. I was unaware of that. Most people are. Double bag like two hook hand with asthma naked brutality. <laughs> Rimworld playthrough. Oh my god, that sounds like a terrible Tuesday. <laughs> that is definitely on the list. I'm going to write that down. I know nothing about what Rimworld is. It's a fucking... Have you ever heard of Door Fortress? Nope. Oh, well, alright, I don't know how else to explain it then. <laughs> I give up. No, it's like a management sim type thing. Uh. Alright, we need to get people as close to enemies as possible. Uh-oh. Oh my god. We just kissed ass our, our way through. Oh my god, are you serious? We got through that encounter just by kissing his ass? We're doing it, boys. I can't. Oh yeah, we did get BD Johnson a single point and kiss ass, didn't we? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> That's working out pretty well so far. That is not going to last for very long, I don't think, though. <laughs> I, that's where I expected this playthrough to, like, become locked up and not be able to get through. So we're already farther than I expected. Fuck last, Link. That sounds fucking like a pain in the ass to deal with. But fun. All right. I believe, ah, yes, our first toaster. 100%. 100 percent chance to fix it. We got spray paint. <laughs> well, uh, what's spray paint good for? Nothing, it's junk. It's uh, You sell it. <laughs> Yay. Oh, God. I'm really worried about our first combat encounter. Are, are we going to make it? Are we going to make it through our first combat encounter? No, we're not. We're absolutely not. Mm. I mean, we might. I don't know. It's going to be real fucking close, though. <laughs> Spray paint, top tier endgame weapon. See, spray paint's less of a combat weapon. It's more of a social weapon. Just need to find the right wall. <sighs> All right. All right. This um, will be our first yeah, combat um, encounter. Yeah. This one I cannot um, kiss the ass. Uh, there it is. All right, I mean, you, you fuck. Come here. <laughs> We're going to beat you with sticks. Oh, good. We did four damage. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, everybody. Hit it with sticks. Oh, God. <laughs> it's doing nothing. Oh, God. We've missed. Oh, God. Holy shit. We're fucked. <laughs> Oh, no. There we go. That hit. We got one hit. Let's go. Fuck. <laughs> we this need... Is, this is a bad This looks awful. Uh, do I have... Who is the healer? Pespi. I thought that was this. Yeah, Pespi's, Pespi's our healer. Why does it keep oh. going to Roxy? Okay, no, I just had the wrong person oh. selected. Okay. Did it steal one of the sticks? Yeah, it did. What? Yeah, um, Roxy doesn't have a, a weapon anymore. Oh. Alright, we need to heal our friend. Uh, what do I use for this? Surgery? I gotta use probably an item. There we go. 
welcome for Seto. And tons of guns. This is Wasteland 2 on Terrible Tuesdays, and we are playing with heroes with an awful skill set that's probably gonna get it killed. Oh yeah, we're not we're not making it out of this cave. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't take the weapons. Come on. Yeah, one damage. Two damage. Yeah, our boy's back up. Alright, let's uh heal him up some more. <laughs> and he can punch. Get wrecked. Get here before the call for the two places triggered. I don't know what you're talking about, Link. I have zero experience with the game, so I also have no idea what you're talking about. Like, um, this part... Oh, God. <laughs> no, <laughs> stop. Don't hurt our friends. No, I need you to not miss. You're the only one who hits hard. <laughs> Oh god, there goes our healer. Oh no. God damn it. BD Johnson lost his stick. Damn it. No one can hit anything. The farm in the town on the dam. Um the co that call happens after this area. Frog's too strong. Frog is too strong. Hey, there's another hit. There's Froggy. Froggy. Stop murdering me, Froggy. <laughs> Why are you hurting Froggy? Ah. That frog also misses. Yep, fuck you. Oh, that... Did one of our characters permanently die? Oh, no, they're both still critically wounded. Good. I need to come watch these streams more often. Yeah, no worries. Uh, we would love to have you if you can. <laughs> I was promised to join games if I watch more of them. That will happen, yes. That's how Ensemble started. Hey, where are you guys? Let me go. I went missing. Oh, Beef Jerky, you were our last hope. Oh, no, that was BD Johnson. Yeah. Well, <laughs> wow. that's about what I expected. Yep, uh, we just hit 21 minutes of streaming. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, are you where the guy went missing? Yes, we're at the where he went missing. All right. <laughs> let's, uh, let's try a different route. We're going to go this direction first. <clears throat> Which has normal enemies with guns instead. Hello. Yeah, that was that was terrible Tuesdays. Roll credits. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't shoot me. I don't have any weapons. Give us your weapons. Big brain Tuesdays. Ah, shit. Why do you miss so bad? I can't get close enough to attack. Uh. Yeah! Ooh. We might actually not die. Yeah! Get him! Yeah, fro frog, frog was too strong. Get him! Ow. That was your problem. You tried to attack a high level raid boss like Toad. <laughs> That's awful, ass Link. That totally fucks up the pace of the game. Like, those are definitely meant to happen after this. That's... That's janky. Oh my god, are you serious? You literally don't have enough AP to attack the guy standing right beside you. <laughs> are you fucking serious? Okay. Um, it's just You just gotta punch, I guess. Dude, with a D that B, you need some time to refresh yourself. No, get him. Yeah, 
That dude's fucking dead. Yeah. You can't just be beating on people. Like, give him like 30 minutes. What's up, Alexis? We're playing Wasteland 2 with trash, uh, trash characters for Terrible Tuesdays. You guys should make a Discord? Uh, maybe. <laughs> it's something we've considered. Mostly we just use Kate's Discord. <laughs> no, stop. Oh, who was that? BD Johnson? Uh, he, yeah, that was BD Johnson. He's laying on the ground, not doing so hot. Oh. BD Johnson's lying there all limp. Ah! <clears throat> Come on. Will you fucking hit anyone? Meow. Oh, God. No. Please. RNG gods, please. God damn it. No. Punch him. Yeah. Who's that beef jerky? So it can be a good game? Forsetto, yeah, I really actually really like this game. I think it's super good. Um, but for Terrible Tuesdays, like, we can't just do good. That's not how this works. Yeah. The terrible is less about the game being played and more about the experience we're having. Yeah. Damn it, we're not even going to clear this encounter. The problem is, like, I don't think we could even salvage this with having weapons because we're just going to miss. <laughs> so that's a problem. Oh, yeah. Get him. Damn it. Oh, we, no. couldn't, we couldn't even bring it down to the last no. guy. Oh, uh, son of a bitch. All right, auto save again. Here we go. Can I give some suggestions for future Terrible Tuesdays? You absolutely can. If I like them, I will add them to the list. I suggested Glover for months, and it finally happened, so dreams come true. Dreams can come true. <laughs> All right, here's the plan. We're going to go this way again, the first way. But we're not going to – we're going to fight these guys. Is that Jared Leto's Joker? Yeah, definitely. You should run two campaigns of this. One where someone on the crew who has never played has the optimal team set up, and the, <laughs> and the best one has uh, this set up. It has to race to the finish. Oh, God. That would be the fucking worst. So, Alexis, uh, that sounds like Wizarding Wednesdays. Fucking Jesus. We started with... Um, for Wizarding Wednesdays, we the first game we played was Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone on Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Advance? And that game is fucking trash. And then we switched to the PC version afterwards. Yeah. Sorry, dogs. Look, enemies I can actually kind of hit sometimes. There are more guys here, though. That's that's going to be a problem. Are you serious? I'm right beside it. I can't hit it. Oh, my God. <laughs> BD Johnson, why do you have no fucking goddamn AP, man? A one-pump chump. But it was shitty enough. That's true. Something tells me BD Johnson's the name he gave himself. <laughs> Aaron, yeah, that would probably... That'd be the one. I don't know if I could convince Kate to play this, though. Hello, Colt Bolts. Welcome to Terrible Tuesdays. Kung Fu Panda game? Oh, God. Do you mean the ones that are actually just you playing the movie, or do you mean the Smash Bros. clone? XCOM 1 or 2 on Iron Man? Oh, God. I've played Kung Fu Panda Showdown at the Legendary Legends. 
and that is just a really, really bad Smash Bros. clone. Ah, oh, god damn it. We're gonna I think die. People actually made a tier list for that, though, and the DLC characters are obviously top tier. Yeah. You know, like Smash Bros. Yeah, that's how that works. If you want the good character, you got. How fucking low are their accuracy with fucking six? Holy shit. You guys should play Hunt Showdown. I love Hunt Showdown. It's so good. Just do Honest Man. I wouldn't trust a full campaign of XCOM to oh, not fuck up your only save file. Oh, no, that was your healer. I mean, it's not going to matter. Nobody's getting out of here alive. No. Oh, come on. I feel like if we can make it through a combat encounter, that's a victory. Yeah, then we've won Terrible Tuesdays this week. <laughs> no, BD Johnson. I have the three man. Here, let's go. Oh, fucking. Roxy has fucking risen from the grave. She's got a headache, though. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not a hangover I'd be able to live through. Well, there she goes. <laughs> yep. You can't leave until you win a combat and never stop recording. I'll die of starvation before we win a combat. All right, maybe we'll go put some points into other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Just so we can, like, even progress at all. Ah, stop killing me. Look at so fucking. I was never really able to get into these like turn-based strategy combat RPGs. Many times. Uh, why uh, not? Like, I tried. I, I don't know. Like, I, it feels slow. Like, I like more reaction-based stuff. Right. That's fair. Like, I tried playing XCOM, and I just couldn't get into it. XCOM is real. I got you. Got to be in a real specific mood for XCOM, because I find it quite frustrating sometimes. All right, what do we got? We got twelve points left. All right, should we just do luck for everyone then? Give everyone luck. Yeah. Will it make him hit more? Uh, it gives a small percent. Yeah. Uh. Too late. That's sure. what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go. <laughs> and if we still fail combat, we can... We can try something else. <laughs> We're still going in without any weapons, like other than <laughs> our garbage sticks. <laughs> Maybe restart so people can have weapons. Well, if I don't get through the encounter this time, I will do that. We still got to keep it terrible somehow, but we don't want it to get... Repetitive. Yeah, we can't just, uh, but only a single skill point that said weapon, yeah. Because uh, it, yeah. it, it gives you a weapon based on what skills you put in. Here we go dying again, yep. <laughs> My leg! Oh, okay, with their luck stat, they could just straight up avoid it now. Yeah, like avoid the, gunshots. there's a chance that they will avoid uh, being shot at, yeah. Huh. So that will also help. No, stop. Please. Sometimes they'll get extra action points as well. I forgot about that. Oh, that's pretty neat. Ah, oh, come on. I'm not hitting you, though. Still just whiffing with sticks. Dog, go away. Get out of here. Damn it. Uh, get slightly closer. K 
carrion version whiskey DK because that the game's fun. I don't know what carrion is. Single skill point gives you a fifty four percent base accuracy. Yeah, then that's oh. that's uh, then reduced by enemy cover and all that sort of stuff. Throw a stick; it will distract the dogs. Oh. Is that is that legit or is that just a joke? That's a joke. I'm pretty sure. I don't think you could throw oh. the stick. Ah, come on! Will one of you fucking hit? Because they do know it was a legitimate strategy in Undertale. Oh yeah. Well, like you could win over all the dog enemies just by throwing the stick. That's pretty funny. All right, maybe this doesn't increase accuracy like I thought. Damn it. All right. Oh, fuck. Here's, there goes one. Here's a fun question. Yeah. If you could erase one game from your memory to be able to experience it again, what would it be? Dark Souls. Dark Souls? Yep, the original Dark Souls. Or maybe Dark Souls 2, because then I could play the prepare or the um the remaster or like the second the fucking harder version. Um, without knowing anything going in, and that might be fun. Uh? But probably the original Dark Souls. I love that game. I will I definitely give it a look. Never beaten it. Uh, the first one I've beat a couple of times. OG Dark Souls was great. Changed my mind. I can't. Yeah, I don't think anybody's going to try to change your mind. You're right. You you can't change I, I when think, you're right. I think a lot of people prefer the first one to the second. I think the first one is the best. I think Dark Souls 2 is better than 3. Dark Souls is the only one I've played, unless you count Bloodborne. Bloodborne I count, yeah. I like Bloodborne. It's fine. Bloodborne was actually the first one I've played. And I still haven't beaten it, but I've made it pretty far in, and I have not changed off of the whip. No, that's fair. Um, that's that's some that's something that happens in um, Dark Souls as well. Is that your starting weapons can be really good? I think I've been running around with a Drake sword in Dark Souls. Uh, is that the one you get from the tail? I think so. Yeah, that is a really good sword that you can get super early. Well, <clears throat> all right, new character times. <laughs> all right, chat. We're gonna need some character name suggestions. Hit us with some good character names. Yep. Daigo. Sure. Unless it's misspelled Diego. Yeah, it, it, they just misspelled Diego. <laughs> All right, Diego. Whoops. Digio. Digio is a good name, though. Conspiracy theory. They thought Bloodborne would be more popular, and Dark Souls 3 was actually <laughs> the original Bloodborne 2. Uh, Blueberry. I will do this one will be so one last link says give them weapon skill point but also give them lightning strike quirk animal husbandry manic depression and the can't heal yourself from medic okay <laughs> I will have to look at that again to remember it Alexis um, says blueberry blueberry is a good name all right so uh, we'll do somebody with I'll make this first one our healer. So one in handguns. Then. Then we'll do. Yeah, like that. Okay. And then just intelligence. And how about I just leave the other ones on three? How's that sound? Sure. That's a cute name, Blueberry. All right, and then can't heal self. Which is which one? Uh, we really didn't give BD Johnson two pump chump. <laughs> no, we didn't. Uh, <laughs> we didn't give I mean, any I guess of we them. We weren't going corkless. Yeah. Uh, 50% damage. Which one's the one that doesn't. Oh, can't use healing items on yourself. My. Misophobic. Got it. All right. 
It's a blueberry. Don't you dare call your smut dealer's name cute. What? Alexis's name translates to blueberry. Alexis is our smut dealer. What? Alexis always is sending us fanfic when during Wizarding Wednesdays. Oh. Uh, we'll give you a... I rifle. also have a smut dealer. When I'm doing my streams, someone gives me fanfic to read. And Blueberry will be our leader. Have I got... Have I gone a terrible Tuesday without mentioning Sonic fanfic? Or no, I don't think you have. I'm not sure you've gone a single stream without mentioning Sonic fanfic at some point. I've been on a lot of Kate streams. That's true. <clears throat> that is true. She also Alexis also sent us some for um, uh, during fucking Metal Gear Monday. Lightning Ooh, I strike. Could write my own Snake X Sonic fanfic and then oh, read God. it. You could do that. Where is your? Are you talking about? Oh, that's right. Tons of guns wanted a character name. Yeah, there it is. There's Which Diego. One? Yeah, Diego's already there. <clears throat> All right, we got more names. You look for rare ships? Like any specific fanfic or just like in general? This one will have. Sniper Ooh, I think one. Z is a pretty cool game. Do a Dirk. Alexis what do you do, Dirk? Dirk. <clears throat> Dominic. Dirk and Dominic. Those are the names. <clears throat> is that is that Dirk Homestuck? Dirk Homestuck needs a cool anime sword. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I got you, Alexis. <laughs> uh, we already got a leader. Uh, what do we, we already have a medic and a surgeon. So, toaster repair. I'll give them luck. <laughs> Hey, it's it's one of those double-edged swords. <laughs> Calling you out called myself out, so I, w I went down with that ship. Animal husbandry and manic depression. This one will have manic depressive. I, I read all of Homestuck. <clears throat> Ooh, no, keep the name. Oh, and no, wait, they wanted Dirk and Dominic. That's right. Dominic, Z Dominic. Yeah, Z Dominic's pretty cool. And then, whoops, I keep going to existing. We want to create custom. Dirk. Yeah, I don't remember much about Homestuck. I just, I know I read it. There we go. Yep, that's that's the Dirk Strider I remember. <laughs> that's that's the boy. <laughs> uh, all right, we'll give, we'll, I'm going to spread his stuff out a little more to make him kind of useful. And by spread out, I mean strength, speed, and coordination, I think. Yeah. My fave, what, like, in general, of all the characters, or, like, specific troll, like... And he'll be the one who kicks down doors. And animal husbandry for this one. Wait, what, right. what weapon are you giving Dirk? Uh, blades. Bladed weapon, bladed weapon and animal husbandry. That's so good. <laughs> Perfect. You, you, you have no idea. <laughs> but yeah, out of all of them, uh, I, it might be a basic answer, but I just, I really like John. Like John was, he was snarky. Old John Egbert. Yeah. Let me skip. I just want to get to the game. We got to go fight some dudes. I did think Rose Rose was a pretty good character, like Rose and Roxy. So Homestuck, I think there are physical book versions of it, but it's originally a webcomic. Yeah. It's a webcomic with like cutscenes and music and interactive stuff. It's got a whole lot of stuff in it. 
Oh god. I remember Cascade actually crashed Newgrounds. Yeah, that sounds right. All right, let's see here. Who's our luck person? I've forgotten already. Because they should have... There we go. Z Dominic. They should have the shovel. <clears throat> I got I got into Homestuck after Cascade, though, so like I don't really have any nostalgic attachment to it. I do think it was really cool, though. Yeah, we have guns now. We might actually be able to play the game. We might be able to do it. <clears throat> I'm I'm betting on us being good. Well, we can't be too good. I mean, it's not going to be good. Sorry. I should cast was a 13 minute flash animation for a big moment in Homestuck. All right. I'm not even going to bother looking at this person's stuff. In fact, I'm not even going to bother going to get that other weapon. We're just going. Like, it was really good animation, really good music. And it was, like, right around the height of Home of Suck's popularity, I would say. Because there was, like, the year-long hiatus. finished rereading with an understanding of English English recently. Oh, nice. Oh, that's such a, like, a huge fucking endeavor, reading Homestuck. Whoops. Off I go. I'm always impressed with anybody who's willing to take the time to learn English as a second language. I'm impressed with anyone who has, a, like, a second language. Yeah. But I feel like as far as second languages go, English is not easy. No. There are so many nuances to English that really only make sense if you grew up with it. Right. I've heard that it is a very, very hard language to, to learn. Oh, I just remembered my favorite troll, and it was... um. I don't know if it's pronounced Nepeta or Nepeta. The cat hat one. That's Nepeta. Yeah. Yeah. She was my favorite. All right, team, let's move out. Absolute. These are our absolute heroes now. <laughs> we're going to do it, guys. We're going to yeah. we're going to win. Like they try to teach you basic rules of English and then you actually start to use the language and you're like, hold on a sec. There's also like great variances and like dialects and regions. Because one thing I learned talking to a British friend of mine is the way Americans and maybe I, I'm not sure about like Canadians too, but we'll say what's up just kind of like as a general greeting but if we say you all right that shows genuine concern yeah but over there they do it backwards really where like they'll just greet you with yite like Yite. You all right like that that's just a general greeting but then what's up is them showing concern hey man what's up so anytime, yeah, anytime they would try to start a conversation, they'd say, you all right? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. Like, I are like, what have I seemed that I'm not doing all right? Look that at might this. have been the Tom Scott video. I don't know who that is, but I did see a video on that. But I also just kind of learned it from experiencing that firsthand with genuine confusion. Because then it would work in reverse, where if I initiate the conversation, I'd be like, hey, what's up? And they're like, oh, I'm doing fine. Why do you ask? And I'm like, no, I'm just saying hi. Our sniper does not hear, appear to have enough action points to actually fire their weapon. What? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> It, it might have been the Tom Scott video. I don't remember who the video was, but I did see a video covering some of these differences. 
God damn it. No. Ow. Instead of a bitch. I think so. I wasn't really watching the video. I was more just listening to it. Get cut, motherfucker. We did it. We beat the first combat encounter. Hey, that is a victory. That is a victory. I mean, characters are slightly less worse than the other ones that we had. <laughs> Not by a large margin, but definitely by a margin. All right, I guess we should fucking heal up. Oh right, you can't heal yourself. Whoops, forgot about that. Oh, that's gonna be that's gonna uh -oh. be fucking rough. Uh, I guess we'll just give a couple of these to somebody else. Yeah, I'm looking through Tom Scott's channel, and it was definitely his video. Yeah, why no problem can seem rude. That was the video. That was him. Hey, Aaron, as long as you're slightly less worse every time. Yeah. You know what? Improvement is improvement. I tracked my earlier statement. You should have had some heavy weapons and some energy weapons because they both suck early game. You're right. You're right. That would have made for a pretty terrible time. All right, let's fucking open up this toaster and see what oh, we yeah, get. Oh, yeah, I know, like, some Japanese words. <laughs> I feel like some some of it you just kind of absorb through meme culture. Toaster. Like, what I know what a Kokoro is. Oh, maybe these are. Woo! Maybe. Is, that, is that just, like, the same loot every... Yeah, it might just be the same loot every time. Yeah, maybe I was wrong. Maybe it's oh, uh, nice. the same. Yeah, too bad we're not using those. Dude, I can form sentences now. I've been wanting to learn a second language. I just don't have the time. I think I took some German. Just never got very far with it. Right. So I've forgotten how to form sentences in German, but, like, I can pick up on certain words. Like, there are certain words and phrases that, like, if I hear or read them, I'll be like, oh, yeah, that means this. But I, I can't speak the language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I getcha. What did you know, Link? That uh, those were the same loot every time. Oh, okay, gotcha. We meet again, Toad. Shit. Our opening sniper, sniper fire missed. Oh god, you can move so far. Right, get... I mostly got through my German class because I could pronounce things very well, so it tricked the teacher into thinking I knew the language. It's like, I do not understand the words I'm reading, but my god, can I sound confident doing it. Don't take his weapon. He needs that. He needs that to shoot you. Or stab you. Right. Get stabbed, motherfucker. I remember Shit. in Spanish class, there are some people that like, like you joke with by saying like, no hey bro, if panel, but some people just were like that. Oh God. Yeah, fake it till you make it. Like, I was on the teacher's good side because I could actually pronounce things, so it seemed like I knew what I was talking about, and I was also just a good student for the first month. What happened after that? Oh, no, 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 that was all the setup. Like, after that first month or so, I would just, like, dick around in the back of class and I'd never get in trouble because they wouldn't ever suspect me because I'm such a good student. Fair enough. You got it. Like, I, I just... It's just, playing just the long game. The precedent. Yeah. Fucking are you serious? Come on. Ah. Got him. Oh, that's... Oh, I forget. We don't have our old setup. What do you mean? Like our, our old our old heroes. Oh yeah. No. These I, was, are... I was trying to find I was trying to find where beef jerky was, and then I realized there isn't a beef jerky. 
Nice. Nice, nice, nice. nice. <laughs> wow. I, I killed him. Incredible. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Yeah. You uh, weren't thinking about that one too hard. I mean, you know. Hey, at least we know they can hit a target. <laughs> Holy shit. You done blooped. That's right. All right. Fucking get up. Ding dong. There we go. All right. Whose weapon got fucking taken? I think it was Blueberry. The rest of the shit can just get distributed. All right. What's this? Ah, right. Repeater units. Those are the things that we actually came here for, because this is where Ace went missing. Not that anyone knows the story or cares. Yeah, your weapon. It's okay. You have your weapon back now. I remember my German 2 class, uh, we had to do this assignment where you got to learn about, like, the history and culture of, like, specific German cities. Right. And they give you, like, a list of, you know, major cities to pick from, but I decided to go a little different and pick the city that my name is after. Oh, that's fun. And so it's this tiny, it's a small, like, country town in the hills in Germany, and apparently uh, a pope was born there. Oh, that's fun. So that was pretty cool. It's like, oh, that's neat. I got to learn a little history about my name. Uh, who has fucking the one that kicks down doors? Uh, that has that's been there for a while. Is that is that a sub only emote? The the pentagram. Oh, uh, it used to be tier a tier two sub, but now that we have uh -oh. more sub slot or like um. Emote slots, I moved it down to tier one. We've had that for a long time. You fuck. I said kick down this fucking door. <clears throat> there we go. How long have you had you done blooped? Uh, that we've had, uh, we got that, when did we get that? Shit, it was during a Mario Party stream. Oh, really? Yeah, Norm drew it up, uh, while she was watching, and huh. we, I just added it. Uh, you just... just... <clears throat> how you tear, how up? you tear up? Uh, I don't know how to do it when you've already got, like, um, a subscription. Oh, no, no, so you click gift a sub, and you scroll all the way down to your subscription... Oh. And then you can upgrade. Weird. Oh, I'm a tier two. I didn't know that. Neat. Well, I was trying to be smart and put my sniper up on the ledge, but uh, I may have gotten him killed by doing this. It's fine. Just get in there. So, uh, what is what is everybody's favorite Mario Party? I am personally a fan of Mario Party 3. I like Mario Party 3 and 2. Seven. 7 was the cruise ship one, right? <laughs> I think that one had some pretty cool maps. I think Mario Party 7 started some of the... Like, different boards would have different objectives. Because it had the one that you, like, go all the way up the hill... And, like, the star can be worth different amounts each time you climb up. Oh. Uh, Pagoda Peak, I think. Oh, my God. He shot his own friend. Sonic Shuffle. That's that's a good answer. <laughs> <laughs> that is certainly a answer. I mean, Sonic Shuffle was made by Hudson. It technically counts as a Mario Party. They made... Yeah, you're not wrong, I guess, huh? I up didn't realize they people? made... Oh, really? I didn't know there was an eight-person Mario Party. That sounds fucking rad. That sounds like a shit yeah. show. Four teams of two. That sounds wild. 
Damn it! This is the first time you got to shoot and you fucking miss. Come on, dude. I really enjoyed Mario Party 3's uh, dual mode. Because after Mario Party 3, the 1v1 mode was just kind of like smaller versions of the normal boards. But Mario Party 3 had this cool thing where the dual mode was completely different boards. And the concept was you get partners in the front and the back and you're supposed to attack your opponent. You sh y'all should play Sonic Shuffle for a terrible Tuesday. I could arrange that. If nothing comes up, maybe that will be next terrible Tuesday because that sounds like a pretty fucking bad time. Oh yeah. I'll need to get th three more people though, or two more people. Dirk MVP finished off all the people. Dirk Strider <laughs> with his fucking goddamn and sword. Then I could add Sonic Shuffle to my <clears throat> tier list, having actually played it. There you go. Two birds, one stone. Oh, it's a crossover event. <laughs> it's it's the most ambitious crossover of history. What is this? A crossover episode? Eh. Uh, we actually completed the fucking first area. Holy shit, I can't believe it. We didn't even have to restart. <laughs> the only thing I know about Sonic Shuffle is there's, like, a random event can happen. It's like someone caught a carbuncle and then the carbuncle bites itself or like it's it's weird it's all i know about sonic shuffle and it's the most disturbing thing all right see this is what's supposed to happen now that <laughs> now now that i've completed the radio tower now egg center and high pool are calling for help you know crack an egg there will finally be another f tier sonic <laughs> yeah well, the way I rank my Sonic games isn't necessarily how good or bad the game is. It's how much fun did I have playing it. I think you're still going to F-tier it. Really? Uh, my understanding is it's very bad. Uh -oh. Like, not fun to play in any respect. Because mm. even Sonic 06, I don't give an F-tier. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, but like you, like you had said before, you go into that knowing it's bad. Yeah. Imagine an item in Mario Party that eats other's items. That's where the carbuncle is, and it eats itself. If, if there's nothing else to eat, great. That's so weird. All right. Well, I remember the items in Mario Party 3 also being really wild. Taking um, suggestions on where to go. Egg Center or High Pool? Egg Center. It's a good day for hay. I will just walk in that direction. Until uh, all the votes are in. Or until I get too close and I have to make a decision. Yeah, so there is an item in Mario Party 3 called the Wacky Watch. Actually, Chaos Fest with no real balance. I mean, that's kind of what you Mario want from Party, Mario Party. Mario Party 3 started to be a little bit better. Like, Mario Party 1 was just a shit show that destroyed palms Mario Party 2 also wasn't incredibly balanced and I think a lot of people hold it nostalgic for aesthetic reasons fair so Mario Party 2 was theorized to have originally been a Nintendo 64 disk drive expansion to Mario Party 1 but because the disk drive was a failure in Japan they repurposed it to just be a sequel which is why a lot of the mini games are repeated between the two. That's the egg center. Um, that makes sense. But Mario Party 2 like did the thing where you had unique costumes, you had unique cutscenes depending on what board you're on. So it did a lot of really cool stuff aesthetically, but I do think that the mini games weren't great. Now right, we're going to the egg center. And then Mario Party 3 really stepped up the board map, like the board game aspect of it, with the exception of the cavern board. That that one's not fun. But uh, Mario Party 3 had this item where it doesn't matter what turn it is, the next turn will be the last five turns. Oh, God. So you could be playing a 50-turn game and cut it down by a lot. What is that? <laughs> It's a zombie. Oh. 
That was disgusting. That's a zombo boy. The egg center has oh. a bunch of like fucking plant zombie mans. You could also extend the game with it. So if you're on the last turn and you use the wacky watch, you add more turns to the game. Huh. Interesting. So if you're losing, you could use that to your advantage. But huh. if you're in the lead, you'd want to cut the game short and just win it. And that's all assuming you're like really playing competitively. Yeah, you're playing to win real hard. Like if you're if you're just playing for fun and like you and your friends have already said, yeah, we have time for a 50 turn game. Like, you don't want to be that guy. Yeah, like everyone sat down ready to do fifth turns. But the Wacky Watch is really good for content creators who want to get a little more screen time in. Or it's like, oh, let's just add five more turns to the game and milk the clock. Run up the clock instead yeah. of running it down. The opposite. There was one item that completely trades uh, your item set with somebody else. Oh, yeah. It's a super rare one, right? Yeah. There, there's a couple super rare ones in that game. But if you have no items, you just take all of theirs and give them nothing. That's fucking broken. There is the Koopa Bank card where you don't have to land on the bank to collect. You could just pass it. Fuck. And my favorite was the Game Guy token, because Mario Party 3 had these gambling mini games. Right. Where if you land on a certain Shy Guy space, he will take you to a casino game, take all of your money, and you play for a double or nothing. Oh, God. That sounds like hell. And it could be anything from, like, there's two boxes and one has a toad in it, to you actually have to spin a roulette and, like, guess what character it's going to land on or something. Yeah, we went to Egg Center. I was just closer to it. Um, that fucking sounds like hell, dude. But if you're lucky, you can sometimes just max out your coins that way. Fair enough. Like uh, the Toad in a Box one, you can do it three times to walk out with times eight the coins you started with. Oh, God. So if you can win three coin flips, you can really bump up your money. But there is, a, there is an item in which you can force any character, including yourself, to do one of those minigames. Fucking spooky, though. Like, anytime you're doing, like, a double or nothing, it's spooky. Yeah, well, some of them are sometimes guaranteed wins. Really? Uh, one of them is, like, uh, two chain chomps are eating a cake. Like, it's a race to eat cake. Oh. And it'll tell you the odds above them. Oh. The big chomp will always be, t like times two but the little chomp can sometimes be like times four times 16 times 64 so if you see a little chomp with times 64 you can pretty much assume it's not gonna win right mercy one and two are the best for littler kids to play yes i would say maybe mario party 2 mario party 1 had a lot of i'd say bullshit elements is there are sometimes there's like one v three mini games, in which you literally can't walk away with points. Yeah. Like the um. Oh come on! Don't fucking jam on me. There's one where it's, just, it's like you're bullying somebody in a Bowser suit, <laughs> and the person in the Bowser suit can't win any coins off of that. All they can do is protect their own. Hey, what's up, Irish? And, like, granted, like, you know, there's going to be people who prefer, like, the Wild West kind of aspect of the old Mario parties. Oh, yeah. When it was, like... But that's just that's just not my thing. I'm doing fine. We're playing Wasteland 2 for... Because tomorrow, you know. Also, I got to talk to you about tomorrow. After the stream. Also, you missed out the first half of this stream. Uh, in which these characters were really, really bad. Yeah, we yeah, had a different set of. Sticks. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you missed you missed the fucking real awful, um, the real awful terrible Tuesday. Uh, tomorrow they are doing Wasteland Wednesday and they're starting Wasteland Three. Yeah, and it's a co-op game, so later, we'll be playing it together. Later in the day, they'll be doing Wizarding Wednesdays. Correct. We're doing both. Probably gonna call it Wednesday Wednesday of the Waste. 
or Waste of the Wednesday or something like that. Don't know what I'm exactly going to call it. But it's going to be a co-op stream with me and, and Irish. What time is the first one? We plan on 1 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Holy shit, we actually lived. I'm fucking surprised. We, we leveled up even. Not only did, did we live, but we're fucking thriving. Holy shit. There has been a lightning strike. Is that in game? Yeah, we give one of our characters the unlucky perk, which has a chance to randomly strike one of the characters with lightning. What? Yeah, any character in the combat. <laughs> what? Yep. Can I not heal myself? I remember seeing the trailer for Wasteland 3, not really knowing what was going on. That's fair. Like, it looked really cool until I realized the genre of game. I'm like, uh, maybe I'll watch someone else play it. No, <laughs> looks like you're getting your wish. Well, no, I'm going to be at work when y'all are doing the stream. Oh. Uh. Maybe? Uh, let's see, one mountain. Oh, that'd be three o'clock for me. That'd be around the time I get off work. All right, well, maybe you'll stop in for the end of it. Or the middle of it, I guess. <clears throat> Tomorrow's the last day I'll be here for a while. Where are you going off to, Alexis? We gone for a month. Damn. It's usually you. Yep. That's gonna fucking be a shit show. Uh, work. What do you do for work? That's taking you for a month. Out of curiosity. I guess we can level up. I guess we'll do that. Um, Got to remember how to do it first. Call. We're working in France picking apples. That's fucking cool. That's a fucking cool job. I'm off work. I'm still working and streaming and doing all the stuff that I do. More surgeon. More field medic. Commit. I've been thinking about starting to do public streams like on twitch and stuff yeah i mean you've been doing a lot of it already yeah but like as like the second person i mean i guess but like you've also been doing it privately for some other people for a while now Hello. open up No, I actually shot the thing. <laughs> you never get a lightning strike till the first boss here, and then your medic gets hit and no <laughs> knocked out in one hit. Oh god, that'd be awful. That'd be the fucking oh, worst luck. medic can't even heal themselves. Yep. Hey, Rose. This lady joins us, um, and she is also a medic. So I guess we can't take her with us. <laughs> Private streams, are you a cam boy? <laughs> uh, I'm on a Discord, like a private Discord server with some Sonic fans, so I've been streaming Sonic games. I'm never on camera. No one wants to see any of this. He gestured to himself, even though he's not on camera. <laughs> oh, what's up, Kiwi? Kiwi! The stream. I need to bounce. See ya. See ya, tons. She's one of the people that gets to see me play Sonic. She's a surgeon, isn't she? Not a medic? Oh, probably. If you yeah, have a character that's the one, not what's the, the other. In this game? Uh, surgeon is for reviving people um, and fixing, like, crippling ear, like problems like fucking broken arms and shit and healing is just healing oh you're also a sonic fan i'm just i'm just nervous about like leading my own streams i believe in you all right i guess we should look at the weapons we've actually picked up and see if any of them are worth taking well, also, I'm learning that uh, my laptop 
really can't handle uh, streaming game capture. Oh, yeah. Because <clears throat> when I, like, my computer started running slow and I opened up my task manager and the Elgato capture software was taking up 70% of the CPU. I'm like, oh. What kind of computer do you have? <laughs> uh, I don't know. What is this? Acer Aspire 3. Oh, God. That's an old-ass fucking computer. Yeah. Well, because the computer I was using, like, just suddenly broke, and I'm like, oh, I need something cheap quick. Dismantling weapons is almost always a better alternative, except we don't have anyone who has um, the weapon thing. Like, we can't disassemble anything. <clears throat> 11, 14. I'm going to keep... I'm going to keep trying to stream Sonic 06 for them, but it's definitely not going to be a quality for Twitch. Yeah, you're going to probably have to upgrade your computer at some point. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. oh, double click to sell. Oh, well, we can't use any of these fucking weapons. I guess we'll sell them all. <coughs> Excuse me. You'd probably record. But then you'd have to edit. Yep. Yeah, I... I think I'd be even worse at the recording thing. Where do you think that? Well, because at least, like, with streaming... I have, like, friends or chat to interact with and kind of work off of. Yeah, you, you bounce off people. But if I'm, like, rec I will forget that I'm recording for content, and I'll just go dead silent. Yep. Like, that that wouldn't be very entertaining because I just wouldn't really be interactive at all. Uh, what you could do instead, if you did want to go the... Uh, recording route is you just play through the game, record it, and then you write a script and you write down why it's bad or good or whatever. And you do oh, so do the... um More like post-review kind of thing? Yeah. Well, it allows uh, you to collect your thoughts and then um, like edit it together in a cohesive way. Coherent way. If most of my content is Sonic, though, and getting really upset at Sonic... <laughs> There's a market for that. <laughs> Yeah. You can't tell me there's not. Do we not have any fucking ammo? Oh god, we have like no fucking ammo. Well, shit. Okay, well, whatever. Not much I can do about it. What is wrong with you? Yeah, we're gonna go fucking get killed. See a lady. Man, scratch comms route. Where you find friend group? Yeah, there's Washington. there's obviously oh, yeah. a market for uh for Sonic angry Sonic fans. Aaron Hansen's practically built a career off of it. All right, you fucking fleshy, gross monster. That that thing's considered an animal. Yep. Also, Dirk got Would stuck on the wheelchair, man. Work on it? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Tame it. Take it home as a pet. You're gonna go stand in the corner and shoot at this thing. <laughs> oh God damn it! It fucking. So when this thing explodes, if anybody is within range of it, um, it will give them a an illness that if they do not treat, will just kill them outright. Oh. So Dark's going to get fucking sick, yo. So yeah, send the dude with the sword in. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. Replay and then commentate over the footage and then slap commentary over the footage willy-nilly and upload it and go... No one hates more than so hates Sonic more than Sonic's uh, Sonic fans. 
You know, that's that's true, and I think a lot of that is more of the disappointment aspect of it. Yeah, probably. Because people that just hate on Sonic, that are like outside of it, that, you know, just because hating on Sonic's the fun thing to do, like, they don't care if the next game is good or bad. Yeah. But if you're a fan, and then Sega gives you Sonic Forces, that hurts a little bit more. Yeah, it, it hurts in a more personal way. Uh-oh. It's like, you want it to be good. Like, people who aren't Sonic fans don't want Sonic to be good, because then they get to laugh at it. Yeah, they it's still like, get I, some... I want <laughs> Sonic games to be good. Some enjoyment of it. If, like... Yeah, yeah, Link. It takes 20 hours for that, that infection to kill them. 20 hours real time or game time? Real time. <laughs> what? Yeah, so, like, if you get that infection and you don't cure it, you just play the game for 20 hours, and then your characters suddenly all fucking die. So, it does it indicate to you that it's 20 hours, or does it just happen? It gives you, like, um... It gives you, like, a timer. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> but, like, if you're not paying attention, you could easily just fucking... <clears throat> well, I feel like 20, 20 hours is one of those things where it's like, oh, I, I, it's plenty of time, I can... I'll, fix it at some point and then you just forget well the the other thing is like there's no way to cure it except for something you get in, the, in this area oh from this lady huh. I think so you got Dirk and Rose maybe I think she joins us I need to fix this person's fucking leg. Do I not have stuff to fix? Yeah, it's leg? It's, uh, it's just like writing an essay. You you think you have plenty of time, and then five minutes, it's like, oh, I have to go all the way back to the one place. Yep. Can be removed with an item or by a real doctor. Shit. I think I gave Sonic Forces. I might have given it a low C rank. Because as far as how well it runs sonic forces is fine it's just i think classic sonic was a unnecessary for the story and b not very fun to play he felt very janky in that engine whoa bomby 32 giving five gift subs damn bomby what's up how you going Gift they got from the Cato community, huh? <laughs> oh shit, we're getting shot at. Fucking bugs. Hold on. Ooh, nice, Bummy. Just hanging out, how about you? Dude, it's terrible Tuesdays. I'm having a bad time. <laughs> but that's, you know, that's the that's the reason. That's why I do it. Ambushed him with a fucking knife. Suck it. That's I mean, almost it's on good, brand, right? It's exactly what you come to the show for. Oh, that's a lot of animals. Oh yeah, it's a bad time. We're about to, we're about to die. This is where we, this is where it ends. This is it, Luigi. Okay, let's get up here. Fucking, you serious? I can't shoot any of these bastards. Oh, two people are infected. Yeah, pod infection, uh. Rose, and pod infection. Digo. Diego, Diego. Fucking losing it. I'm getting tired. Fucking quit spitting at me, you fuck. <laughs> Our sniper, who is completely useless, is not helping the situation at all. Yay. You can check the timer. Oh, you're right. There's the timer. It gives it to you in seconds? Yep. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> that's... Why? Because uh, that's just how they do. Um, yes, we have... Uh, the sniper has shot in combat, but they missed 
twice. Uh-oh. I mean, I did shoot my own teammate there, so that's definitely my fault. Yeah, you've been doing that a lot. That's fine. They're fine. They'll be okay. Ah, shit. We're gonna thinking, die. If, if I do ever decide to start streaming on Twitch, yeah, I'm gonna reset the whole Sonic process. Oh god. I mean, you gotta do you, man. Like, I've done I've done too much of the franchise in private already. And if people want to see Sonic, they're gonna they're gonna get a bunch of Sonic. I wouldn't say it's doing what I enjoy, but it is doing because... something. My god, some of those games. But it is funny that like I look at I look at my tier list and I think this is so vastly different from what a lot of Sonic fans would probably do. Cuz I have Sonic R above Sonic Heroes. That is quite like quite the decision. <laughs> People would look at that and think that's ridiculous. I'm like, no. Sonic R was fun. I had fun with Sonic R. I don't care how good people think Sonic Heroes is. It was not an enjoyable experience for me. Damn it. You fuck. I'm ADHD and love colors, and even when I was bombarded by palette choices. Like Sonic if Colors. You want to talk... mm, Sonic Colors. Actually, Sonic Colors. I think I put A rank. That game is pretty good, from my understanding. I I really love Sonic Colors. I think the writing and the story is kind of whatever. Yeah. But as far as just raw gameplay goes, Sonic Colors is one of the better games. Oh, you're talking about how how colorful Sonic Heroes was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, I get it. If you want to talk about being bombarded with colors. The Sonic 3 special stages. Oh, fucking Jesus. Some of those were... Some, uh, <laughs> it, it looked like somebody vomited colors on screen. Private Sonic stream sounds like a kink. Hey, listen, like... <laughs> if that's what people want. We did it, team. Hey, why don't you come back to my room in five minutes? Bring the peanut butter. Bring the peanut butter. <laughs> don't like that. <laughs> I don't want it. peanut butter anywhere near me. From Sonic. <laughs> hey, come on, step it up. You're going too slow. Oh, God. No, stop. <laughs> Sonic fan base is really dedicated. I think a lot of it's just the Sonic franchise is inconsistent, so you really have to hold on hope. Because for stuff like Mario, you don't really have to be committed to it because the next Mario game is going to be at worst mediocre. Look at look at this. Look at this brain damage. He's got brain damage. Oh. Minus two to every skill cannot be removed. Well, I'm glad that's going to heal on its own after. Favorite character. Uh, Sonic Dream Collection is not on the tier list. Uh, I don't think any fan game is on the tier list. That's too bad. There are some so good I fan may, games. I may still play and stream it, but it's not going on the tier list. How about... um? I know, like, it's not going to go on the tier list, obviously, but the um, the Sonic racing game that's in the Doom engine. Have you seen that? Uh, was... It's like Robo Blast, I think? It's something like that, yeah. Well, so, actually, the racing game is a spinoff of a different fan game. Yeah. I already knew like, that. Like, they made, like, a legit fan game, like a 3D platformer Sonic, and then they took that and then just made a racing game out of it. 
That's fun as shit. It belongs on the tier list. I, I agree with that, but the website that I'm using to create the tier list has every single Sonic game, except I think the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. I think the tier list was made a little before that. I just made my own tier list. Well, I may like I wanted to check that preset tier list just to see what games there are. Right. Because they made me consider stuff I wouldn't have otherwise. Because I might do some of like the Mega Drive or not Mega Drive Master System and uh, Game Gear stuff. Yeah, there's a there's quite a few different websites to just create tier lists, and I found like a template one that just has every single Sonic game, including like mobile ports really obscure arcade games for children like it's it's got all of it on there how are you gonna play the one that's the arcade game but it uses a track I, i'm not i'm not gonna be able to do all of them like yeah. i've accepted that okay fair enough i'm also ignoring a lot where it's just like i'm not gonna play the mobile port nvidia's 30 series announcement i don't know what that is uh the 30 series cards the new nvidia graphics cards uh. Look at the size of that mushroom. See, I'm upset that BD Johnson didn't make it this far. I know. There were BD so many opportunities for good dick jokes, and now he's gone forever. Yeah, he is very dead. He was not yeah. equipped to handle the wasteland. He only had one decent piece of equipment. All right, probably going to... Um, end here pretty soon just because I'm running out of steam on playing this fucking game as like shitty characters <laughs> like there's only so much of this I can fucking put up with and I think I've found the limit but we'll try to get through this combat encounter here yeah, if, if there's interest in me streaming Sonic on Twitch I'll, I might look into it I can help you set it up. Let me know. Holy shit, you're actually gonna get a fire this fucking round? <sighs> you fucking missed. Yeah. I can't believe it. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> After all this time. <laughs> you're able to fire on the first round of combat. And you fucking just whiffed. God damn it. <laughs> hate this <laughs> see that right there is like the 10 year old kid in halo that tells everyone not to grab the sniper so they can use it and then they fucking just whiff every time yep yep <laughs> no i want to snipe i'm not even gonna Are you know try. any tf2 player okay this is wasteland 2 um with really terrible character builds. Yep, all the characters are made no fucking awful. Anything. Yeah, we have garbage on our team. That's all you need to know. We'll be playing Wasteland 3 tomorrow for the the new show. This is this is more of just uh, like a, like a prequel. <laughs> kind of, I guess. A prologue. Why do you torture yourself? I don't know. Okay, you know underneath the, the stream... Underneath Whiskey TK, where it says Terrible Tuesdays. Because the answer, I guess, is because we started off playing games with Norm, and Norm was making play Donkey Kong Country, and I was like, I need a name for the show that we do on Tuesdays, and somebody suggested Terrible Tuesdays, and that this is what the show became. Huh. Like, it was not, oh, like... We did not have a name for the show. It was just called Whiskey I did Norm. I not know the origin story behind that. Yeah. And it's called Terrible Tuesdays because you started with Donkey Kong. Yeah, because I did, was not enjoying myself playing that game. <laughs> so somebody... Was it Donkey Kong Country or just 64? 64. Oh, really? That was the start of Terrible Tuesdays. Yeah. Uh, that was uh -huh. the first game that Norm and I played. And, uh, yeah, somebody suggested the name Terrible Tuesdays, and when we got to Nier, I was like, 
or what when we were like looking for other games to play and I suggest near um we came up with the idea of the game doesn't need to be bad. It just I just need to not have a good time. And that's it. That was the whole thing. Look at that. Our fucking sniper hit something. Good for them. Oh, uh, see, bombing. I respect. I respect the attempt, but yeah, it can be real, real tough to hit. You, you, you set it up. You set it up with what's is that an up dog, which <laughs> gives way for the response to be what's an up dog. I mean, also like <laughs> they're they, you can't point at it and confuse them, like with that. All right, I'm fucking done playing this fucking game. Like, is that up dog? Is gener generally how you would try to set that up? Hey, have you seen up dog? What? Hey, have you seen up up dog? What? Well, what's up dog? <laughs> there you go. What's up? Not not too much. What's up with you? <laughs> I accidentally got my dad with that one time. That's really funny. Like he he was part of the fundraising for my brother's marching band, right? And so like he was like running the gift card stuff, and I was telling my dad like, hey, it'd be kind of funny if you told the other parents that uh, they now have gift cards for Updog, and I was trying to get him to set <laughs> up the joke on other people, but he looked at me confused <laughs> like, what are you talking about? What's up, dog? <laughs> and it took me a moment to realize like, oh my god. Did I, did I just do that? Did it just happen? <laughs> the magical moment of when Updog works. I was, about, I was about to correct him. And it's like, no, no, no. You know, like the joke. But I had to stop myself and be like, not much. What's up with you? <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of you just yelling that out in the middle of a fundraiser. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fuck, that's funny. Like, I wasn't even trying. <laughs> that's so good. All right, this has been Terrible Tuesdays. Playing Wasteland 2 with terrible characters and not enjoying the story has also been not fun. Uh, join us tomorrow for Wednesdays in the Waste, or whatever we end up calling it, uh, which will have a very different format from this show, or like the rest of the shows we do. We're mainly going to be like playing through for the story, so we'll be stopping um, and listening to characters talk and that sort of stuff. Um, and then, of course, after that, uh, there will be wizards. Uh, thank you for joining me, Ensemble. It's been a pleasure as always. And we will see you all tomorrow or the next time you stop in. Y'all have a wonderful night. Bye.